Hello and welcome to a new lesson with digital architecture. My name is Saad and today we are going to take a small tip in uh, ArchiCAD Grasshopper connection after we get some inquiries about how we can solve such a problem. As you see we learned before how you add objects and like to make some kind of facade and disturb this object or elements on a curve. But as you can see here like all those uh, chairs are facing downwards but if you want to make like a real facade or object I needed to make, to make it like the rotation for each object depending on this curve so in default ArchiCAD will not do this alone only by doing the object I need to work on the setting of this object and to make some calculation to make those areas of or array of uh, chairs in the right direction of this curve and you'll see it's like fully parametric maybe if I'm doing some stadiums and I want to make some round distribution of chairs it will work like this so it will be just a small tip that will be very helpful to understand more how this life connection between ArchiCAD and Grasshopper actually works so maybe if I start from zero again and let's see we have this curve I want to add objects and disturb them with the rotation on this curve so first I have this curve in Grasshopper and I want to add object in ArchiCAD as we know we need to use the design object uh, component this object component will add objects depending on the points and we know we can uh, divide this curve to points to add them as a point in this, this object so if I go to curve and make like divide curve get some points I add these points here and now I have those objects but you see they are all facing downwards or facing one direction so to change this I need to have some info in Grasshopper that tell me uh, the orientation of this point depending on this curve and that's why I will not use the divide curve component but I will use the horizontal frames as you see here now this horizontal frame will give me the information if I make them bigger by display plan size maybe 2 enter now I see how those frames or plans are actually rotating with the curve now I have the information of those points based on the rotation of this curve and from here I need to get this information out and add it to the setting of those objects and you know we have settings object setting we can find it right here and you'll see we have uh, we need to change it from create to use the existing library parts so we'll use uh, uh, objects from the library in ArchiCAD and you see we have the first parameter is an angle you know by working in ArchiCAD when we add objects the rotation actually is a parameter here we find it here always for each object there is always this parameter of rotation so when I rotate an object if I uh, rotate with Ctrl E now I go to the setting and find that this is changed based on my rotation so controlling rotation in ArchiCAD objects is based on this parameter so when I get those frames actually the frames can be directly uh, modified to points when they are connected to any point and we'll see ArchiCAD objects are defined directly with those frames but now I need to calculate the angle okay so let's do this we can add some parameters to me say how many objects we need like doesn't matter but then we will need to make calculation for this object so I have those frames and you see or like planes we can name them they're only frames or plane the same they have orientation based on the Z and the, orient uh, the uh, object center it's like the point and the Z direction so from here there is a component called deconstruct plane you'll find it here deconstruct plane when I connect this I will get the origin of those points or frames or planes I will get the X Y and Z axis now if you look here I have my 
y axis and the z the x axis change you can find it here this is the y this is the x y and x and see it's rotating with the line so like the x always the tangent and the y is perpendicular to the curve so i will calculate the angle between this y and the y of word word zero zero or word x y plane so if i get this y axis you see they are all different and the y from the origin zero zero i can calculate an angle an angle and this can be done by the vector component angle so i will take the first is the y and the second angle will be calculated based on the y from the uh, default planes which we'll find it's actually oops not this if i type y or see unit y it's actually like in vector unit y so this will give me the y from the frame uh, the default frame which is zero zero from the word x y and the last input will be the optional plane 2d if i'm not doing the regular plane that i'm working on like which plane it, like the angle will be calculated so i can actually define and say yeah this is the word x y plane the default one so based on this plane it will calculate the angle between this line or this vector y and the other vector y from the frames now i get default values those values are angles but not in degree they are in radians so i need to in radians i need to change them to degree here they are in degree i can either remove the degree from the objects or i can make this object in degree or this angle in degree and then i can connect it to the a and now if i get those settings and plug those settings with the angles to the object i will see how those rotate in this way but now i see that i have some problem the, the rotation is not right so here i have to see if i want to get the angle or the reflection of this angle so i need to try this can always try it first and see no the angle doesn't work so i will try to make the reflection of this angle and see if the reflection works perfectly i'm getting the right angle to rotate those so the reflection is just the other way calculate the angle and give me a right options one can try if want to maybe to calculate the angle between the x let's start between the x and the x we'll see what we'll get you'll get the same value because it's rotated it's calculating the same angle between this x and this x and it will be actually the same because this frame is rotating based on this uh, coordination it will be always the same between uh, any of the both but more important always to get x to x or y to y if you try to mix them up maybe I get the other direction now those uh, chairs are rotating based on this line and we'll see maybe we want this uh, result and we do this this way but no if you are making like stadium want to have like a point here for the um the single or anyone who have my focus point i need to make multiple lines so i will make this way of rotation so from here i can be more confident by creating my objects and letting them be uh, placed to the right angle in archicad you'll always see them in the right way if i add like more chairs it will be no problems and be always right so this was like small tip for today to uh, answer some questions some maybe unclear thing from the last videos in archicad and grasshopper connection if you have any inquiries of any question you can leave them in the comments below or if you even in the group or email us explaining what you didn't understand what you have some ideas that you're trying to work on and i'll be very glad to help you thank you for watching i'll see you in next video